Shadows flickered across Samantha Ray's heart-shaped face as she bent over the ancient tome, the only source of light in the cramped attic room coming from the sputtering candle at her elbow. Dust motes swirled in the amber glow, dancing around the cascade of raven curls that tumbled past her shoulders. A shiver traced down her spine as the words on the cracked parchment seemed to writhe before her eyes, their edges blurred by time and dark magic. She'd known this moment was coming, felt its approach like a gathering storm. The curse that had haunted her family for generations, the twisted legacy that had stolen her beloved grandmother and shattered her mother's mind, had finally come for Samantha. She still remembered the day her power had awakened, surging through her veins like molten silver on her thirteenth birthday. The day her mother's emerald eyes, so like her own, had shuddered with fear instead of love as they beheld the crackling energy that danced across Samantha's fingertips. And the ominous words she'd uttered, seared forever into Samantha's memory. The curse has chosen you, my daughter. Just like it chose me. Just like it will choose all the daughters of our line, until the debt is paid in blood and sorrow. Samantha had run that day. Run from the destiny snapping at her heels, from the bitter legacy that threatened to eclipse the gentle magic she'd always known. She'd sought solace in the arms of her grandmother, the only one who truly understood the wild song that hummed in her blood. But now Grandma Vivienne was gone, her vibrant spirit snuffed out by the same dark forces that had consumed her daughter, Samantha's mother. And the young witch was alone, adrift in a world that feared her power as much as it coveted it. Tears blurred the incantation, swimming before her eyes, as Samantha's fingers traced the words that might seal her fate. A binding spell, ancient and potent, designed to leash her magic to another's will. To make her a puppet, a pretty pawn for some faceless master. She knew the other covens whispered about her, the lost witch of the cursed bloodline. Knew they would stop at nothing to claim her, to harness her untamed magic for their own ends. Just like her mother had tried to do, before the madness took her. Samantha's jaw clenched, a single tear tracing a glistening path down her porcelain cheek. No. She would not. Surrender. Would not let some twisted patriarch pen her fate. Even if it meant walking this dark road alone, a blade forged in the very fires that sought to consume her. The knock at the door startled her so badly, the candle toppled, hot wax splashing onto her trembling fingers. Heart pounding, Samantha hastily shoved the tome beneath a tattered quilt before calling out in a voice that only shook slightly, yes? The door creaked open, revealing a tall silhouette backlit by the flickering light of the hall sconces. For a moment, fear stopped her breath. Had they found her already? The warlocks who sought to leash her? Then, the figure stepped forward, and the air rushed from her lungs for an entirely different reason. Raven hair tumbled over a high brow, framing a face so exquisitely beautiful it made her heart ache. Piercing blue eyes, like shards of winter sky, seemed to see straight through to her battered soul. But it was the aura shimmering around him, invisible to all but those who walked the hidden paths, that stole her breath. Raw power, ancient and elemental, crackling with the scent of gathering storms and moonlit ritual. Another warlock? his magic a wild song that called to her own in eerie harmony. You, she breathed, barely registering the tome slipping from numb fingers to land with a dull thud at her feet. Who are you? A hint of a smile curved his sensual mouth, even as those laser blue eyes held her transfixed. Rowan, he replied, his voice a dark velvet caress. Rowan Blackthorn, and I've come a very long way to find you, Samantha Ray. Her breath hitched at her name on his lips, some inexplicable mix of longing and recognition sparking in her blood, as if she'd been waiting for this moment, this man, all her life. Why? The word came out a ragged whisper, as she fought the urge to back away, to flee the simmering intensity in his gaze. What do you want from me? He took a step closer, the heat of his body like a living thing in the close confines of the attic. Candlelight played over the stark planes of his face, turning his eyes to molten gold. To help you, he said softly, to teach you to harness the power inside you before it consumes you. His hand lifted, hovering a scant inch from her cheek, 
the air between them fairly crackling with tension. And maybe, if the fates are kind, to love you. As I have loved you in every life before this one. Samantha's heart stuttered, confusion, and a fierce, aching hope warring within her. I, I don't, I don't understand. You will? His fingertips brushed her skin, a ghost of a caress that sent fire licking through her veins. Will you trust me, Samantha? Will you let me guide you through the darkness to come? Everything in her rose up in denial, the long-honed instinct to hide, to run from any hand that sought to control her. But something in those fathomless eyes, some flicker of ancient sorrow and timeless longing, stilled the refusal on her lips. Slowly, reaching deep for the courage that had carried her this far, Samantha twined her fingers with his. Yes. She breathed, tipping her chin up in defiance of the fear churning in her gut. Teach me. And as his arms came around her, his lips claiming hers in a kiss that seared her to her very soul, Samantha surrendered to the wild magic rising between them. Come what may, she would meet her fate head on, a daughter of the storm, with this man, this warlock, by her side. Even if it damned them both. In the days that followed, Samantha lost herself in Rowan's tutelage, in the heady rush of her magic finally unleashed. He guided her through forgotten rituals and whispered incantations, his hands gentle on hers as he showed her how to shape the power coursing through her veins to bend it to her will. And with each brushing of fingers, each shared breath, the bond between them deepened, the yearning she'd glimpsed in his eyes now a living thing, pulsing in the scant space between their bodies. It was intoxicating, exhilarating, and absolutely terrifying. Because even as Samantha reveled in the rightness of his touch, the way her magic leapt to twine with his like lovers long parted, the shadows of her past still nipped at her heels. The specter of her mother's madness, the curse that had claimed her grandmother, loomed ever larger, threatening to eclipse this fragile new joy. It all came to a head one rain-lashed night as they pored over an ancient scroll in the flickering light of the attic room that had become their sanctuary. Thunder grumbled in the distance, the air heavy with secrets and words unspoken. I can't do this, Samantha blurted, the quill slipping from her fingers to blot the parchment. I can't let myself feel what I'm feeling for you. Her voice cracked on the admission, tears burning the backs of her eyes. The curse is not your destiny, Rowan finished fiercely, his hands coming up to frame her face, tilting her chin up until her gaze collided with the brilliant blue of his own. Samantha, you are so much more than the darkness that haunts your bloodline. Can't you see that? All I see, she whispered brokenly, is the madness that took my mother, the sorrow that snuffed out my grandmother's light. A single tear traced a scalding path down her cheek. I'm poison, Rowan. A time bomb waiting to shatter everything I touch. No, Dottie. He shook his head vehemently, raven hair catching on the stubble shadowing his jaw. You are a revelation. A guiding star in the bleakest night. His thumbs stroked over her cheekbones, reverent and achingly tender. And I will not let you fade. Samantha squeezed her eyes shut against the hope, that swelled treacherously in her chest. You can't know that. Can't promise. I can. His lips brushed her forehead, a benediction. I can, and I will. Because I have seen your strength, Samantha Ray. Felt the purity of the power inside you. He pulled back to meet her gaze once more, eyes blazing with conviction. And I know, with every fiber of my soul, that you will be the one to break this curse to forge a new path for the daughters yet to come. She stared up at him, afraid to hope, afraid to believe. How can you have such faith in me? A heartbeat. A small eternity, caught in the space between seconds. Then, because I love you. Rowan's voice dropped to a raw whisper, the words hanging in the charged air. In this life, and all the ones before. My heart? My magic, my very soul are yours, Samantha. And I will stand by your side, come what may, as we face this darkness together. A sob caught in Samantha's throat, 
her heart too full, too shattered, and remade in the span of a few short sentences. And then she was surging forward, her lips finding his, pouring every ounce of love and fear and desperate, clawing hope into the kiss. Rowan's arms locked around her, crushing her to the hard plane of his chest as he slanted his mouth over hers, deepening the kiss until Samantha's very bones melted. Magic crackled over their skin, in their blood, whips of emerald and indigo, twining in an ancient, intimate dance. And there, in the circle of his embrace, Samantha let herself believe. In him. In them. In the chance for a future free from the chains of her past, their love would be her strength, her north star in the gathering dark. Together, they would find a way. They had to. Too much had been lost already. But even as Samantha poured her heart into Rowan's keeping, surrendered to the glory of his touch, the words of another loomed in the forgotten corners of her mind. Portents of doom, of a reckoning that stalked ever closer. The curse has chosen you, my daughter. Just like it chose me. Just like it will choose all the daughters of our line, until the debt is paid in blood and sorrow. Samantha clung tighter to Rowan, even as a chill whispered down her spine. In her mother's madness, she'd spoken the truth, a prophecy waiting to be fulfilled. And deep down, in a secret shadowed place, Samantha feared their love might not be enough to weather the storm to come. That the curse would demand its due and leave only ashes in its wake. But she was done running, done hiding from her fate. Whatever the cost, she would face it head on with Rowan by her side. For he was her heart, her haven. And she'd walk through the very fires of hell to keep him safe, even if it meant sacrificing everything she was and all she'd ever hoped to be. The storm broke with a fury that matched the tempest raging in Samantha's heart. Rain lashed the crumbling manor house, seeping through cracked mortar and rotted wood as if nature itself wept for the tragedy about to unfold. Samantha stood in the cavernous ballroom, the once grand space now a decrepit ruin, shards of shattered chandeliers crunching beneath her feet. Her mother's summons had brought her to this place, this mausoleum of broken dreams and twisted legacies. And now, Rowan a steady presence at her back, Samantha faced the woman who had haunted her steps for so long, a specter of madness and despair. My darling girl. Eliza Ray's voice echoed in the gloom, a brittle, mocking thing devoid of warmth. You came. And brought your pet warlock too, I see. Samantha's nails bit into her palms, Rowan's warning touch at the base of her spine the only thing keeping her grounded. I came to end this, mother. To break the curse you've let fester for far too long. Break it? Eliza threw her head back and laughed. A sound like shattering glass. Shadows writhed at the edges of the room, called by the twisted magic pulsing around her. You foolish child. You are the curse. The culmination of all my pain, my rage. She stepped forward, the ragged hem of her black gown trailing through the dust. Broken, like the mind behind those fevered emerald eyes. You were born to be a vessel, Samantha. A pretty cage for the darkness I've nurtured all these long years. Tears scalded Samantha's cheeks, even as resolve straightened her spine. Rowan's fingers twined with hers, anchor and touchstone all in one. I am not your vessel, mother. Not anymore. Raw power surged through her, whips of silver blue crackling in the heavy air. I am my own woman, my magic a gift, not a curse. And I will not let you twist me as you've been twisted. Eliza's face contorted, a grotesque mask of fury and thwarted desire. Ungrateful whelp, she hissed. You would throw away your destiny, your birthright, for what? For him? A gnarled hand flung out, pointing at Rowan. He will betray you. Just as your father betrayed me. Love rots, dear daughter, and leaves only ashes behind. No. Samantha's voice rang out, strong and clear, buoyed by the steadfast presence at her side. Love redeems. Love heals. And it is stronger than your hate, mother. Stronger than the curse that poisoned your mind.
She raised her free hand, eyes never leaving her mother's ravaged face. Rowan's power rose to meet hers, twining in a glorious dance, sunbright and pure. I release you from this pain, from the madness that has corrupted your magic and your soul. Tears flowed freely now, grief and love a bitter tangle in her throat. I forgive you, Mama, and I bid you peace in this life and the next. Their combined magic surged forward, a tidal wave of cleansing light, just as Eliza screamed, a sound of rage and shattered hope. The shadows swarmed to her defense, a maelstrom of shrieking darkness, and the two forces met with a cataclysmic roar. Samantha gritted her teeth, pouring every ounce of her strength, her love, into the spell. For Rowan, for the future they dreamed of building together. For her grandmother, taken too soon. And for the frightened girl her mother had once been, before the curse took hold. The darkness battered at her, icy tendrils seeking to worm past her defenses, to taint the bright core of her power. But Samantha held fast, drawing on the reserves of her bond with Rowan, the shining thread that tethered her soul to his. And slowly, inch by excruciating inch, the light began to gain ground. Shadows sizzled and evaporated, Eliza's screams pitching higher and higher as the curse that had defined her for so long began to crumble. Until, with a final blinding flare, the darkness shattered, dissolving into wisps of foul-smelling smoke. Samantha staggered, spent, and only Rowan's quick arm around her waist kept her from crumpling to the debris-strewn floor. In the ringing silence that followed, Eliza swayed, her face a mask of incredulous devastation. What have you done? She rasped, hands clutching at her chest where a faint, pulsing light now glowed beneath the rot-stained lace. What have you done to me? I freed you, Samantha whispered, fresh tears tracking through the grime on her cheeks. From the curse. From the hate that consumed you for so long. She took a shaky step forward, then another, until she could reach out to touch her mother's ravaged face. It's over, Mama. You can rest now. A violent shudder racked Eliza's wasted frame, her eyes wide and lost. For a moment, she seemed to waver, caught between past and present, madness and sanity. Then, with a broken sob, she crumpled, Samantha just managing to catch her before she hit the ground. There, amidst the dust and the detritus of a shattered legacy, Samantha cradled her mother, murmuring words of love and absolution into her tangled hair as the older woman wept, decades of pain and bitter rage pouring out of her in a cleansing flood. I'm sorry, Eliza choked out between heaving breaths. So very sorry, my darling girl. For, for, everything. I know. Samantha closed her eyes, her own tears falling to mingle with her mother's. I know. They clung to each other as the storm continued to rage beyond the cracked windows, nature's fury giving voice to the maelstrom of emotions swirling between them. And for the first time in longer than Samantha could remember, she felt something that might have been hope flutter in her chest. The road ahead would be long. The scars left by the curse not easily healed. But they had a chance now, she and her mother. A chance to rebuild, to find their way back to each other. And with Rowan by her side, his love a steady beacon in the darkness, Samantha knew they would weather whatever storms lay ahead. Together, a small smile touched her lips as she looked up to meet her warlock's shining eyes. He held out a hand to her, an unspoken question in the set of his mouth. Samantha took a deep breath, then reached out to clasp his fingers with her own. And together, they stepped out of the shadows and into the light. The curse was broken. And a new story, wild and bright with promise, was just beginning.